Thermolysis is the second type of electrology to be developed and was invented around the end of the First World War. Thermolysis is a proper scientific name for the breakdown of molecules by the action of heat, which is what we're doing. Thermolysis is also known as diathermy, radiofrequency or RF, and manual RF. There's also a flash thermolysis, but right now we're talking about the manual version. The technology for thermolysis has changed and updated significantly since it was first used. Let's see what makes it work. Thermolysis involves inserting a fine probe into the follicle alongside the hair shaft. An oscillator generates a radio wave in a frequency reserved for scientific and medical equipment. The radio wave is directed into the follicle through the probe. There is no need to hold or touch a contact to complete the circuit. The RF wave excites the water molecules of the follicle, creating heat. The cells of the follicle begin breaking down at around 127 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the follicle is treated, the hair can be removed with little or no resistance. Let's see that in action. Here we have a diagram of a follicle. The probe is inserted alongside the hair shaft. The radio frequency is turned on and a heating pattern is generated. It's weaker near the surface where there's less moisture. The energy tends to focus near the tip. This gives the heating pattern a teardrop shape. RF begins heating the follicle very quickly. Think milliseconds. The heat moves towards the surface, climbing the probe while the radio frequency is turned on. The higher the power, the faster the heat rises. The heat rise is the controlling factor for how much RF can be safely used. Notice the heating pattern covers the whole length of the follicle. Once the follicle is treated, the hair is removed. Let's go over four areas. Permanence, treatment speed, including progress, comfort level, and skin care. Permanence is how likely regrowth will occur. The permanence of thermolysis is three of five tombstones. The percent chance of disabling a follicle is lower for thermolysis. While manual thermolysis with a standard probe treats the entire length of the follicle, it can miss the upper portions of the follicle where important structures reside. Treatment speed considers the follicles per minute and overall progress towards completion. The treatment speed of thermolysis is 4 of 5 rockets. Since thermolysis can generate heat instantly, the treatment time for manual RF is often between 1 and 3 seconds. The moderate permanence along with the high treatment count means progress is strong. Comfort level is the measure of how it feels during and soon after treatment. The comfort level of thermolysis is two of five pair of slippers. The heat disables the nerves quickly, so the sensation is reduced. This improves the comfort level for most people. The after effects are often a burning sensation and redness, similar to a sunburn. This usually goes away quickly and responds well to cold. It must be kept dry though. Skin care is the effect on the skin from treatment in the short term and the long term. The skin care of thermolysis is two of five healing aloes. Thermolysis can have some adverse effects on the skin. All electrology methods damage connective tissue or collagen. Because it is strong and fast, operator error can cause surface damage. Overtreatment would appear as widespread white spots that change to tiny scabs. Occasional tiny scabs are common. Lower permanence means more retreatment and damage in the long run. In summary, the key features of manual thermolysis are speed and comfort, which is very good. On the downside, retreating follicles due to low permanence is hard on the skin. Surface damage and overtreatment are also more likely. Thermolysis was created to solve the speed issue with the original electrolysis. Due to the risk of surface damage, it is less well suited to treat deeply rooted coarse hairs growing in moist skin 
such as the face or underarms. Thermolysis is recommended for back, legs, and other large areas.